So in terms of career development, I would want us to look at uh, 2030. 2030 from today, ladies and gentlemen, most careers will be declared redundant. 2030 from today, most careers will be declared redundant. And I would want to base my speech on what you guys are able to see on the screen. We are calling this the five career zones of opportunity in future. For you to be in high demand in future, ladies and gentlemen, there are things that you must really be knowing from today. Because come 2020, 2030, I mean, things will really, really be different, different board games. The accountants in this case here will be able to flourish in 2030 because you see most of our jobs will be taken over by AI. Most of what you are doing in this case will be taken over by these accounting systems. But of course, if you will be having these attributes, you will still be very relevant. So the accountant who will be very relevant in the future will be that accountant who will be able to run what we call a sustainable organization, the red thing here. Whatever company you are an accountant in, then this company should be able to continue in future, should be able to have what we call longevity. So if you are a thief, who is coming in this case here, they're given a company and then they start stealing straight away, then of course you'll be killing organizations and you'll be killing your career. Ladies and gentlemen, why do people steal? It's because of what your poor financial management and a lot of what your competition in life. That for example, you would want in this case your kids to go to particular schools, right? So you take your kid, for example, to McKinney Primary School, Another person in this case here takes their kid here to, uh, for example, Kibera Olympic. So the one in McKinney School gets 350. The Kibera guy gets 400. God has got his own ways of... I'm not saying that you don't invest in your kid's uh, education. That you should. But I mean, we are looking at sustainability. If it's sustainability, you must be able to live well within your what? Your means. If you don't live well within your means... You are outside there to satisfy an ego that will never be satisfied, then automatically you will not be able to yourself, you'll not be able to sustain your life and whatever organizations you lead, you are an accountant there, will not be sustain, sustainable. Because as an accountant, the moment, ladies and gentlemen, you open that jar once and then you start in this case you're stealing, then you will not be able to put bricks on the others here not to steal. We are supposed to be in these organizations as control mechanisms. We are not supposed to be thieves. We are meant to become chief accountants, not chief thieves. So first of all, up to there, are we together? would want to know whether it's a sound check. I haven't yet begun. And remember, if there are any people in this case here who are normally, normally left broad daylight in big problems, they are accountants. Like right now, look at what is happening at uh, this uh, Kenya National whatever, trading whatever, this edible oil. So you get in this case here, for example, the CS. Do you expect in this case here the CS to accept liability? No. The CEO, the other day, the lady was saying uh, she's not involved. So at the end of the day, the accountants who approved the payment will be in big, big trouble. And some of them, of course, may have gotten very little amount, like a million. As we speak today, I can count. I know not one, not two, not three accountants who are my former students who are in prison as we speak, simply because of what year they chose not to live well within their means. As a gentleman, I normally like giving a very good example here, even to members of ISPAC. Look at, for example, somebody called Tuju. Do we know the Honorable Raphael Tuju? Yeah. Have you ever seen his house at uh, Karen, just behind the KDF college? He has a big, big college. I mean, a big, a very, very big house. 12 bedrooms are here. But you see 12 bedrooms, can you sleep in two at the same time? No, you don't need so much. This guy, the wife left him, all right? And they, this wife was married by just a soldier without who? Without any without any rank. You know, Ula Hana Debe Atamo. Atamo. So life is funny. So as you get in this case here to the field outside there, always think about what we call sustainability. Sustainability. 
sustainability. Sustainability is all about living well within your means. In this case here, so that also the company can survive, can survive. Now for you to be able to run a sustainable organization and become relevant in 2030 and beyond, then you must be an assurance advocate. Assurance advocates are those kind of uh, employees. Whenever they are in any company, we are assured that there is nothing that will go wrong. The Martin Odours of this country, the Martin Odours of this country, whenever Martin Odouri goes, we always see the share price going up. So we expect people to be up there. Ladies and gentlemen, as an accountant, for you to remain relevant in the future, you must be a business transformer. You can't keep on telling us that it's about coronavirus. Now this time around, it's about what year El Nino reigns, and then you keep on complaining. No, no, no. Regardless of what is happening, you must be a business transformer. Business transformation is all about innovation. Innovative companies were able to thrive during COVID. Like RCM, because we went online 100% during COVID, I can tell you for sure, our revenues grew three times. I remember there, uh, there is a place I went where I was a seat. So one day people started talking uh, ill about COVID, how COVID is bad. And then I, I stood and told them that uh, if COVID was there, uh, to be, for example, like a, a human being. I mean, of course, I know this is not a very good example. For us at RCM, COVID in this case here made us to do what year to thrive. Not even COVID. It's because of what year? Transformation. So you as a CFO, because I'm so sure most of you will become CFOs. Ladies and gentlemen, you have to be transformative. You have to be in that agenda of innovate, innovation. Innovation. Look at, for example, a company like Coca-Cola. I mean, Coca-Cola, if it's Fanta variants, these guys have come up with so many types of Fantas, Fantas, you can't even be able to count them. So we must be transformative. Ladies and gentlemen, there is no way as an accountant, you're going to excel in future if you are not a data navigator. Allow me to show you something about data navigation. I want to share some other different screen some other different screen. All right. All right. All right. I show you something very nice here. Data Navigator, yes. So if, for example, you look at what I have here in Excel, somebody in this case here may give you this kind of Excel data, and they're interested in, for example, knowing how much does a Jenny Tan earn our annual salary. So in this case here, what I need to do is to come here using Excel. I'll be able to pick the name here. Of course, uh, I'll type because I'll not be having the, you know, if they give you this kind of information, they give you like 10,000 rows. So when they ask me about Jenny, I should be able to type, but here because I can see Jenny Tan, I can come and take her name. And then I say, in this case here, tab. When I say tab, on this other cell, I just want to know her salary. The very best way of knowing her salary is to come and use what we call X lookup. So X lookup, I'm saying in this case here, I, I'm already able to see it is here blue. When it's blue like that, you tab. So, and then again, remember as a, a student of Excel, you are not supposed to cram the formulas, no. You look at, you see like this, the Excel will always explain to you. So like now here in brackets, the first thing they want us to pick is the X lookup value. What is the X lookup value? It is this person we are looking for, Jane, uh, Jane, whoever. So from there, after you do that, ladies and gentlemen, what are you supposed to do? After you do that, you'll come here and say, in this case, here, comma. After saying comma, ladies and gentlemen, the next thing they want me to do is to give them the lookup array. The lookup array is this column that has got all the employee names, column C. So I'll be able to come here and highlight the whole. After I do that, ladies and gentlemen, this thing is a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. After doing that, they want me to give them the return array. Return array will be that column that has got the item that I would want returned by Excel. So on the Excel, I would want Excel to help me get annual salary get annual salary. So from there, I'll be able to say comma, I'm following here. If not found, what do you want this thing to return? If not found, I would simply want it to tell me an A, where an A stands for what here, not available, not available. Then I'll be able to say comma. 
after I say comma, I can see the next. Is it exact match or do you want, I always want exact match in accounts, zero. And then I'll be able to come and say comma. So after that, ladies and gentlemen, in this case here, I'm following, I'm following uh, in this case here, what they want me to tell them. So in this case, you have to match mode, search mode. I don't want the search mode. So I can just come and do what here, clo close this bracket like that. And then of course, I should be able to say what here, enter. So I'm able to see right away that Gentan, she's getting here 170. Should they ask about any other person now? It becomes very easy because for example, should somebody come and ask me about da Adam Foley? I'll simply come and pull Adam Foley there. And then I should be able to come back here and use the angry rabbit. Angry rabbit, angry rabbit. I simply need to come and there, beat it twice. You double click. And in this case, you'll be able to see that also Adam Foley is getting what here, 170 as well. You can see there. Leave alone. The others, I can delete them as I wish, like that. All right. Now, I do, I'm not here to teach you how to use advanced Excel. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm just here to teach you guys. I mean, tell you that for you to be able to really thrive in the near future, and I'm talking of 2030 horizon, you must be a data navigator. You must be able to appreciate. Like Excel, I mean, how do you survive without Excel? For the years that I've worked, ladies and gentlemen, I've really used Excel, Excel quite a lot. If, for example, you look at, uh, for example, something small, like what we have here, you may come here, ladies and gentlemen, and then you realize that there is an examiner who just, not, a, uh, not an examiner, but just a function that we normally use as a CFO, as a CFO, as a CFO, I must know how to use simple things like some ifs, some ifs. So for example, I would want in this case here, what some if, for example, ladies and gentlemen, I may want in this case here too, let me just get uh, another one that is just ready here. Yeah, let me just wrap this because I just want to use this for demonstration purposes. So for example, I want, look at whatever information that I have, ladies and gentlemen here. The information that I have here, I can see I had some sales in January, had some sales in February, had some sales in March. What if somebody wants me to consolidate and give them the January sales, the February sales, the March sales? Should I start looking for one figure at a time? I No, 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 no. What I'll do, I'll simply come and use the some ifs. So I'll come here and say equals. So I'm punching there. Some ifs, I can see some ifs is here. I'll be able to pick. So from there, they want the sum range. The sum range is this amount line. So I'll be able to come here and highlight everything there. And then I'll be able to say comma. After comma, they want the criteria range. The criteria range, that is somebody who's drawing my thing here, but we shall overcome. The criteria range, in this case, ladies and gentlemen, is basically the month where we are finding, it, in this case here, the January. So I should be able to come, ladies and gentlemen, here and highlight the whole month. And then I should be able to say comma there. So after that, they want me to pick the criteria itself. Within the range, there is criteria here. So I need to come and simply say like that. And then I should be able to do what here? To highlight. So once I highlight, I should be able to say control enter. I am able to get the January sales out of this 1026. 273,600 were in January. And then I should be able to come here, put my angry rabbit there, double click. So I'm able to get like that. Come, ladies and gentlemen, here, I'm able in this case here to say alt equals. I'm able to say alt equals. Once I say alt equals, I'm able to say in this case here tab. So I'm able to see that the total sales here is 1026. It tallies with this. And now we've been able to break this down into the monthly sales using just the sum ifs functionality. Now, this sum ifs functionality may not be the very best. Actually, if I'm the one doing this, what I'll do. I'll simply come, allow me just to take this. Please don't uh, accuse Mwalim of moving fast. I just want to show you that uh, for you in future to really do very well. You know, some of you will be asking, how comes, for example, Mwalim Maura keeps on changing jobs the way he wishes and only work with international farms? All right. It's because of what here, already as we speak to David before 2030, I'm a data navigator. I'm a data analyst. All right. I know how to use Python as a programming language. I can do a JavaScript. I'm not your normal like accountant, all right? And these are things, if you come to my house here, you'll be surprised I don't sleep for so many hours. By 5 a.m., I'm always up. I was studying here, all right? 
doing things here, all right? Because I'm quite apprehensive of how the future will look like. I know in the future, ladies and gentlemen, life will be squeezing. Somebody is telling me here that uh, even right now, life is squeezing them. It has not yet squeezed you. It will squeeze you in 2030 if you are not willing to change, if you are not willing to align. If you're not willing to align, life will be very, very unfair, very, very unfair. So we shall overcome, we shall overcome, we shall overcome, we shall overcome. All right. So let me continue. So if I'm the one doing this, I'll come under, for instance, in this case here, highlight the entire table. I can just highlight the entire table like that. Once I highlight the entire table, then I'm able to come here. And then, of course, I'll be able to insert. I'll be able to insert a pivot table. So this pivot table, everything is good there. Then I'll be able to come and say just okay. Once I say okay, what do I do? I would want months. I would want months to be my rows like that. And then I have in this case here the amount line to come there like that. You can see what is happening here, ladies and gentlemen. Are you able to see the magic? Are you able to see the 10, 26,000? Is there anybody who's able to see magic here? Is anybody who is, able to, who is able to see magic here? Anybody who is able to see magic here? I'm not asking you whether you are understanding. Please don't get me wrong. I'm not here to teach you today. This is a course I'll be starting from next week on Monday. Next week on Monday, which of course I've seen already. The advanced Excel class has got how many students? The ones who have paid. Is there somebody who is in that advanced Excel class? How many students does it have? Anybody who is able to confirm how many students do we have in that group as of today? As of today, 180, that is on the lower side. Or the lower side, a bit on the lower side. A bit on the lower side, but we shall overcome. We are at 197. BDN, 400, look at you. BDN, 400, look at you. So it's high time. In this case here, you get to join us. So I'm talking about something very, very important. Remember if it's uh, this pivot, whatever I've, I've done there is a pivot table. The pivot table, I'll be able to put the slicers. The pivot table, I'll be able to put in this case here, the, like the pivot charts, which I'll be able to use for demonstra demonstrations. A data navigator, if you're taking notes, a data navigator must be very good in power query. Power query. We have Power BI. Power BI, you must be very good at that. Power BI. And if you allow me, ladies and gentlemen, I'll be able to return my thing here. So assurance advocate, you must be a business transformer. You must be, in this case here, a data navigator. You must be a digital playmaker. Digital playmaker. I mean, this, you know, ladies and gentlemen, you are in a digital world. Digital playmaker, basically, we are looking at uh, adaptation. For example, I normally sympathize with the students who in this 21st century, do we have still students really who are going to study anywhere physically, even if it's in a university? Please, if there is a university which tells you to go to colleges physically, dump those universities because they are not aware of what is going to be happening. Right now, you should be able to study from wherever you are. You should be able to study from wherever you are. That is where the environment is pulling us towards. All right. We should be able to get into virtual classrooms. Actually, right now, wherever we are, we should be able to study even with the VR, the virtual reality headsets. From here where I am here in Kenya today, I should be able to wear that virtual reality headset and, for example, do a tour to Egypt. Do a tour, in this case, here to some stock exchange in New York. Of course, I'm still I'm seated where? In Kenya here. So I'm just doing a virtual tour a virtual tour. Ladies and gentlemen, that is where we find ourselves in. If you're still doing, for example, most of the meetings, you're always telling your people that you guys must come to the office. No, no, no. Things are changing. We must embrace, in this case, a technology in everything that we do. Don't tell me that you don't have an Uber app. You need, in this case, to adopt. Don't tell me that Mualimu at me have to go to... No, no, no. There are things I expect you guys to be doing from home. Even yes, at times, in this case here, I mean, you don't have to go to the real KFC. You can do a virtual KFC. Order. Order. Because now we are in a digital economy. If, for example, today you were to go to a country like Dubai. Dubai. 
you'll be surprised. In Dubai, it's very, very rare to see a policeman on the road. All right. It's very rare. In this case, you go to Dubai and then you start getting like a pharmacist dispensing medicine directly to you. All right. So in this case, at the moment, the doctor has been able to do, you will be served using a robot. We are entering what we call a robotics era. So if you are not a digital playmaker, ladies and gentlemen, these things, if you can't defeat them, what do you do? Because you can't fight with the technology. There's a very good saying. If you can't defeat them, what do you do? You join them. And that is why I would want to welcome all of you. And we proudly call ourselves RCM Online College. I would want to welcome all of you to join us in our sessions. Because here we shall be able to train you on how you will become digital. So if I were you, as an accountant, I will strive, ladies and gentlemen, in this case here to do what here, to just be good in terms of financial reporting technologies. For example, if you are here and you don't know how to use QuickBooks, you don't know how to use Tally. Like Tally is a big thing. Tally is a massive thing. I mean, if there is any software, I mean, there is no software actually in the whole world, which is very cheap, which in this case here can defeat Tally. No. Look at Tally in terms of, for example, inventory management. I mean, this thing will be able to track down aging. We will tell you that, for example, these stocks here, I mean, given uh, uh, these expiry dates, we see a red flag here. All right. In terms of, for example, like available, like the store search, they have a very important functionality called the store search. You'll be able to search an item and uh, mention, for example, which store is it found in if you have a, 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 a segment, if you have got in this case your branches. Tell is a big thing. All right. So you need to be very good at it. All right. We have Zoho. We must be very good at it. So most of those ERPs, we need to be very good at them. Otherwise, you'll be complaining, how comes I'm being paid 100,000 and yet I've got five children? There is a problem. You're not working on yourself. You're not investing in technology. You must, in this case here, be an accountant by all standards, but in this case here, with a digital mind. An accountant with a digital mind. With a digital mind. You must be able to embrace chat GPT as an artificial intelligence tool, all right? If, for example, today you would want to write, even if it's just a useless letter, for example, you want to write, say, a love letter to your wife. I mean, you should not be able to go and get, get tire yourself quite a lot. No, just go to ChatGPT, all right? ChatGPT, in this case, simplifies work for everybody, for everybody. Is there anybody who is using ChatGPT at their workplace, especially the paid? There's a free version, and there's a is anybody who is very good in terms of querying chat GPT? Like, this is what I want. In this case, you should be able to, when it writes a letter, you should be able to tell it, I mean, I don't, I don't like this. Please twist it that way. I should be able to train you also how to use chat GPT. We were trained. I work for a Swedish organization, and they really, really invest in us in terms of trainings. In terms of trainings. In terms of trainings. Ladies and gentlemen, remember... As an accountant, digital playmaker, I should be able to use, for example, what we call Confluence as a project management tool. Confluence is very, very good because how, how do you run a project, ladies and gentlemen, manually? You need, in this case, a digitized platform which will be able to help you monitor all the activities, who is to do what, by which date have they done. In this case, are they able to log into onto their machines from wherever they are and give a report like that. Confluence is very, very good. Wiki, wiki confluence, all right? Because you guys are going to become CFOs, you're going to become CEOs, managing human beings, managing employees, you must be very good in what we call the JIRA. We use them Jira codes so that whenever an employee in this case here does whatever they do, they should be able to log in and tell us in this case here, for example, I've done this activity. This activity is found in Confluence here. I've spent this number of hours and this is the status. Once you reach that level, that is why some of us, whenever we apply for CEOs, of course, I've never gotten a very, very serious uh, uh, employer to hire me as a CEO, but at least we are always there in the shortlist. It's because of the skills that we have. The skills we've been able to build over, over time, over time, over time. And we are here ready to share with you these skills. 
are we together up to there, ladies and gentlemen? Are, are they listening, really? Are they listening, really? Are they listening? Are they listening? I can make a very good CEO. Wow, okay. Great, great. Fortunately, I'm a CEO at RCM, isn't it? Practical bookkeeping in Anza, Monday. Ntakuambia, ntakuambia about you. Kwa saizi, nataka to do a few things here and there, ladies and gentlemen. I want us to know a few things here and there. So in this case here, you must also be a sustainability trailblazer. A sustainability trailblazer. So when you talk of a trailblazer, you must be ahead of the things. Ahead of things, I mean. Ladies and gentlemen, remember, like from 2024, are you aware that they have introduced new standards, IFRS standards, sustainability reporting standards? Yes. Under sustainability reporting standards, now each listed company will be required, it will be mandatory for them to report on the ESG framework, environment, social governance. So if I were you, and I was able to show those things that I taught AFRA, you can go and, for example, Google EABL, and in this case here, pick, pick their annual statements because EABL has been able to prepare sustainability reports and they get to understand what these sustainability reports are about. Using chat GPT, you should be able to do your own sustainability report somehow and try in this case, you're giving that information to your CFO. That's how you start in this case, you're showcasing that you're good. You have some uh, skills here. So you simply go under, if I were you, what I would do, I would go straight away and, for example, get Kenya Airways PDF sustainability report. I can even convert it to Word document copy it, put it in chat GPT or any other AI software. Once I do that, then I'll be able to go, for example, if it's uh, in terms of uh, uh, water conservation, I'll be able to see like, for example, last year, the water we consumed were these cubic meters. This year we have consumed much lower. So I'll be changing figures, changing figures. Electricity is the same. Renewable energy, what are we doing in terms of the three R's, recycling, ETC? I should be able to go and put that report very nicely. And then, of course, once I tell ChatGPT now modify this to fit my company, ChatGPT will do it for you very well. And then go and share the same with your colleagues at your workplace. And then come and share testimonies with me. All right. I want students, ladies and gentlemen, who will be digital playmakers. We must be trailblazers at our workplace. Now, ladies and gentlemen, as I finish, look at these things. That there are four, three things actually. Three things actually that you must always think about. We have career adaptation. You must adapt and really smell the coffee to present happenings. Present happenings, you must get mentorship regarding or rather from people who really, know, who really understand this software. So career adaptation. And then we have what we call skills transformation. Very, very important. You must really diversify your skill set. And then, of course, we have learning evolution. Learning has evolved. Don't study anywhere. We also run a physical college at Stanbank. But please, I'm, I'm, I'm really, for the sake of love, you guys, please stop going anywhere to study what here physically. All of us, in these cases, will be studying online. Why is it important for us, in this case, here to study online? Ladies and gentlemen, even Casneb, are you aware that from 2025, Casneb will be rolling, like most of the exams in this case here, 100% online? From 2025, yes. The exams will be online. All right. ACC has been able to uh, trailblaze. ACC has already been able to give all the exams. So if it's financial reporting, you simply log in, you are able to see the tables there, you play around with them, and then that's why some employers want ACC qualified students. So, and of course, Casneb is also uh, private to that information. They don't want to be left behind. Like the students who did BDA today, trust you me, if you start working on your Excel skills very early, especially when you join CPA part one, because of the BDA which is coming ahead of us, you will always have an upper hand. Don't wait. Like right now, you'll get some students who do not know Excel totally. And then they join my BDA class next semester. Of course, you'll pass, but you really, really sweat. These things, you must get used to them very early. Very early. 
buy you your, your, your own laptop. Now we are in that era where you cannot really even be just to be depending on your company's computers. No, you need your own machine like myself. Even when I was meeting this young man called Moses today, he found me with my bag. I can't walk without my laptop. It's my office, my everything. All right. Because I would want in this case a situation where I'm able to type like without looking at my key. I know the, for example, the uh, like the QWERTY, JKL, semicolon, ASD, whatever. All right. All right. So that can only come if you are so used to these things. Don't wait, ladies and gentlemen, you reach some level where you get like now there is a student who told me that Mualimu, when I saw it in the BDA group, at Mualimu for the very first time, I was able to sweat. The way you normally advise us again is sweating, but today, I was able to sweat and I was sweating from the wrong place. You know, in an exam, you'd rather sweat from inside here or wherever, hidden places. But when you sweat from here and you are a bit elderly, 30 years and above, that is not very good. The Kikuyus call it the the. Una sweat kwa the the upper. It's very, very bad. All right. Why should you wait? And we are giving you these courses at a like a throwaway price. Like now we have advanced Excel course starting on Monday and you are charging how much? And that offer is actually ending. Was it ending today? I'm not so sure, but of course for the RCM students, you can always uh, uh, extend. So for the RCM students, in this case here, they are paying 1950. 1950 for that Excel, advanced Excel. But of course, students from outside there, before we welcome you to RCM, you will pay us 3000. And the course is starting on Monday. It's starting on Monday. It's starting on Monday. So it's very, very important that we get, uh, of course, our number. How I wish I had somebody who was uh, able to help Mwalimu here share our phone number, 0719-525,000. Very, very important. 0719-525,000. The students who want pay bill there, pay bill there. Somebody should be able to help me. Somebody should be able to help me, the pay bill there. Uh, thanks, Valerie. If you know the pay bill, please give them. Or the timetable says Sunday. Then we shall start on Sunday, 10th years. 10th years. 8 p.m. 8 p.m. 8 p.m. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is very important. And then here we have this thing here. This thing here, it's called, this is a very, very important thing. Let me just come here. As an accountant, ladies and gentlemen, you must have very high emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence, very, very important. If you want to survive in 2030 and beyond, right now you can be excused. Right now, in this case here, you can be that kind of a person. When you rub uh, feathers with uh, others on the wrong way, you can abuse them uh, somehow. But there's a gentleman from 2030, this research which has been authenticated from 2030, people will be very sensitive. There will be so many court cases, all right? So you must be emotionally intelligent. Emotional intelligence is something people go to school to be trained, all right? Emotional intelligence is very, very important. It's something that you must learn. Atami, atami, atakuliza vibianga takuambia. Ukiona tumekosa na tanayama any other person. Yendi yako na makosa. I'm not saying that I'm an angel, but I know when to keep quiet, all right? I know when in this case here, I should even at my workplace. I know when, uh, of course, I should raise my voice, all right? Just small, small things. Like at my workplace the other day, it was quite a very unfortunate thing. Very unfortunate thing. And this is something I'd foreseen. So when some party, great party, some young man came and uh, inappropriately touched a lady. So this lady in this case here was able to scream and said, you know what? I'm somebody's mother. I'm somebody's wife, ETC. Now I told this young man, please go and apologize. This thing may get out of hand. Because by even the time I was talking to the young man, the lady had called the husband. So the husband was on the way coming. I mean, I, I kept on telling this guy, you can't tell us that it is the bug that attached this lady. Just to, uh, tell her that things happened. And I'm sorry. That's a simple thing. It's about ego management. We finished this thing. So as we speak, the guy was sacked. Very serious case in court. It's called emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence. It's a very important, rare skill. Very few people have it. The concept of having a thick skin, 
There are times, especially when you are a senior there, people will rub you in a bad way, in a matatu, wherever. This world has been set like that. There must always be friction. It can't be good life if there is no friction. So, but when you are struck a little bit, are you that kind of a lady who just jumps up and say, no, 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 no. Emotional intelligence. We're not even talking about 2030. These are things I normally see every other day. Unamuka tuko matatu na mneno za kusama baba, umambua fair, isijifei mengoza na 20 bob, baru pige sabu waraka. Uraza kupinga na vijana ole, vijana umekula vitu zao. Anamuka na kaspana na pap mochari. Emotional intelligence. Are we together really? I can't see anybody talking anything. Are we together really? Before you go to the account name, I want us to concentrate. I'll be able to give you time to ask questions later, but concentration. Are we together here about EI? You should be going to YouTube later and watch videos on emotional intelligence. Uh, is there anybody who has very good uh, situations they can describe to us where people who lack emotional intelligence have found themselves in trouble? Yoki tukwa za kurudisha mdomo sana. Kurudisha mdomo sana, 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 sana. You should be able to know when to talk loud. You should be able to know when to keep quiet. We kwa mjinga, yaishe. Kwa mjinga, yaishe, and you'll go very, very far. You'll be able to know, you should be able to know when to push things. Na ikifika mahali, urasema mazee hii, kita niramba. Hapa ni international what year, disaster. Yes, a driver, was sacked in our company yesterday because of ego, you see, because of ego. That's me, Komatatu of land. Thanks, Phyllis. Hakuna aja kubishana. Watu wapa inje, watu wakona stress mingi. Salaya kuambie. Hii uchumi ya pana mchezo. Uchumi ya pana mchezo. Watu wakona problems. So just a small trigger, you'll find yourself in this case here in problems. Apo kwa fair, onaguza. Or budgets. But at Akiguza, what do you do now? We're absorbing. Thank you very much. Now, ladies and gentlemen, in terms of uh, emotional intelligence, remember even most of these emotional intelligence uh, issues, they are normally brought because of what year? Yeah, they are normally brought because of us being broke. Poor financial management. There are three things that you as my student, I would always want you to know. Three things. In terms of finances, you told me to talk about finances as well. In terms of finances, you must know how to make money. You must learn how to make money. That's number one. Number two, you must know how to keep this money. Number three, you must know how to invest this money. The first one is making. All of us must be very good at making money. Making money is not a hard thing nowadays because if you are knowledgeable, for example, you have tax knowledge, and then you go to Facebook, create a very good account on Facebook. You start blogging information there, telling people that uh, you know pay is remitted on the 9th, and this is how you calculate pay under the new rates. Right now, use the word new rates, new rates, everything new, because now we have very many things which are what you're new. All right? Invest in a camera. These are 21st century skills. You invest in a camera. You should be able to know how to edit. You should be able to invest in good lighting, even my lighting is not very good. All right? So that whatever video you produce like this, if it's on TikTok, it will be able to be a hit. All right? And other than gentlemen, the moment in this case here you start blogging this kind of uh, useful information, you'll become a magnet online. People will start looking for you. Of course, as you do this, for about two, three months, you may not get anybody telling you even nothing there. But after, after people get to notice you, you'll be surprised. You'll not be able to handle what you're the demand, especially if you're doing research for the content that you provide there. Ladies and gentlemen, this social media is a big thing. It can really help. I've seen it helping people change fortunes. It can help you big time. Let's not think about being employed, all of us. Are, no. 
I know of some people, I mean, because of the knowledge that they have and they are able to give it on social media, they are very, very comfortable. Problem accountants, we are still living with that old adage that uh, it is only something that is bad that will keep on, in this case, here being advertised. No. At chema charge user, kibaya charge tembeza. Squeeze ata kama ni chema na mnagani, si lazimu utoke inje, utembe, ndi uonekane. Ata kama ni kuolewa, si lazimu utembe, lazimu uonekane kusema ukweli. Ebu niambio ni ukweli, ebu comment yo. Onda kusema ati, ati kama, kama, kama ni kizuri, utaka ati kwa nyumba tu, ati watu waku, watu waku, watu waku imagine, uku inje wakuja ukutafuta for marriage. Iye example yangu waje yelewa. Iye example yangu waje yelewa. <laughs> Iye example yangu waje yelewa. Ladies and gentlemen, we have, and this is something that I would really, <laughs> Tabi, it's just like kutembea mbaya, but at the end of the day, I hope my message is home. My message is home. What I normally see most of my students uh, doing, most of my students are very, very timid. Unakuta mwanafunzi maybe anasema ati mimi nikipiga kamera surango inakaa hivi. Hata ikae namna gani? We are in a knowledge economy. So long as you are knowledgeable and you come in this case here to the media and you start talking live without fearing anybody. After doing your proper research, you start in this case here talking about a particular subject. It could be a subject on the NGO world. In the NGO world, it could be a subject about financial report, financial reporting right the moment you start doing that you, trust you me in that phone of yours if god was to come today most of you you have a great great uh, equipment that should be able to turn you to multimillionaires but you don't understand you're just here always crying that uh, i mean it's like you need i mean even some jobs ladies and gentlemen are not that meaningful the jobs in this case that you do, where you're not able to save even anything, isn't it? All right. I mean, let me give you a very good example. Like now for you to have come here, have I invested a lot of time? This is a whole, I mean, if I was to run a church with 230 students or rather 230 uh, uh, worshippers here, I'm so sure this would be a very big church. And I've been able to organize it, cut us your vote here, social media. Social media is a wonderful thing. Only if we get to know how to use it. I normally sympathize when I get my students, in this case, they're taking very nice photos like this. Others are holding like this. All right. And then they just post like that. Then they get very good likes how they are beautiful, good family, etc. Of course, you're right. It's a social media account. But if I were you, I would in this case here go there and say, you are CPA uh, or tax advisor. I would go there and say, in this case here, what year? This is uh, Nancy. You are CPA advisor. Every time you are CPA advisor, you are tax advisor. So in this case, it starts ringing bell in people's minds. Whenever they see Nancy, they know, ah, can call like Mr. Naka taxation. I can call like At the end of the day, you are building a big, big profile. All right? You are building a very, very big profile. This or that error napata mtu kwa social media ati mtu anajiita favor. Na usiyo jina lake. Ladies and gentlemen, we must maintain our names on social media as they are in our ID cards. As our former classmates, some of the networks that we have today, we boast of those networks because we are able to connect with our high school uh, uh, classmates. So weka ulikuwa unajulikana kama Maria so and so high school. Hapa sasa umekuja ukafanya namna gani? Ume change jina. Sasa unako uki change character. No, no. Una change character kwa nini? We kuwa we kama unajulikana kama omondi. And please always be what here. Please always be yourself. Be yourself. Be yourself like that. We shall be able to talk more about this. What on the hand? We shall be able to talk more about this as we progress. So you must look for ways of making money. All right. Oh, kuna favor, maybe kuna favor. Kama nijina yako ni favor sawa, lakini wengine siyo favor kusama ukwili. Wengine siyo favor. Now, as a gentleman, after that, there is the keeping of money element. 
we must be able to know how to keep money. There is a person here, trust you me, if they earn 200,000 every month, they end up spending 200,000 or, or more. The expenditure is even more than what they earn. And what makes them in this case here not keep any money out of whatever they earn? It's simply because there are people, ladies and gentlemen, that I can say they're bewitched. It's people here that I can simply say that they are financially illiterate, that you are just here because you would want to do what here. I mean, that you are, your objective is to please people. Don't ever make it your objective, ladies and gentlemen, to please anybody. Pleasing people is a very costly thing. That if you go to a club, that you would want to be known that you are the one who buys, in this case here, so, some lady told me to buy her what? When I tried checking the price, they can say, you are a Jewy. <laughs> I, I call myself the Malta. See Malta. How comes I'm forgetting that uh, big brand? The, the thing was selling at fifteen thousand. <laughs> see, Obazu, There is a name. That's how I, it's, it's M something. I remember that name. I remember that name. <laughs> I mean, I have to tell this lady, Ukitaka, Ukitaka, okay, Ukitaka, see There is, I remember the name. I remember the name. How comes I'm forgetting this name because that thing made me very happy. No, no, no. I'll remember the name. I remember the name. Dakumbuka. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's be ourselves in everything. Let's exercise what you are moderation. Akuna kusema tunataka kuwa jogo atue kazi ni at least unaenda sasa hiyo unaita ati aluta. Sikizo unaita aluta. Atakaingia club Friday jioni ataka club the whole night. I mean even I mean it's an hygienic. The whole Saturday at Sunday paka wanaita pasta kuja kuwaombea ati aluta. Unaona? So and you get these fellas paying bills of what year 40,000. Mattel yes, Mattel, Mattel yes. Huyo amepata hiyo kitu Mattel yes. That is the one this lady told me to. <laughs> Lord. So you get these ladies and gentlemen in this case here buying, or rather these ladies and gentlemen here buying alcohol to moja. I mean for 40, 50,000. It's because you have not risen up and seen how the future is going to be. This future is going to be unforgiving. These things you are saying, Ruto, Ruto A, Ruto B. Ruto is not a bad man. It is now where we find ourselves in. Some of us have been lucky to study abroad. Life outside there, like in Scotland, I mean, taxes are so huge. Even Kenya, whether you like it or not, the pay will be standing at about 50%, whether you like it or not, in the next three years. So, and the people who are going to really maximize the peak are those students, in this case, I'm calling you students here, are those students who are able to save maximum so that you can get some of these uh, savings that you have being invested. So we must get this culture of keeping money. It doesn't matter how much you are earning. Like I remember my very first job, I've been quite lucky uh, in zero zero around zero zero one. I got a job at Visions, and I remember my salary at that time was about one fifty thousand. I've been always lucky, but I don't think it's luck really. I always work very hard. I work very hard. Trust you me. Miss Dani Kamani Konaraha, akura si kutenda siju kweva suni pata na hang wapi. I work very hard. During the day, I'm China Kazi, and I ran this successful business called What Year RCM. All right. But you see now, out of uh, that salary, by age 27, this is a house that I'm staying here. I was able to build it. It's quite a nice house. If I was to zoom around a little bit, but I think I'm, uh, I'm not supposed to do that. Right. I was able to build it at, at age what year 27. Why? Basically, because I chose to keep money. Right. I, I always save with Mwasibu Sako. There's a time I was among the, I mean, top uh, savers at Mwasibu Sako. I'm no longer there because I chose in this case also to diversify, diversify what year, my what year, my investments. All right. All right. So it's all about keeping. I'm telling you there are guys that you are with in those days who even used to earn much more than me. Right now, as we speak, I'm sorry to say because they're my friends, some of them, a good number of them, they have nothing totally. They have nothing totally. Nothing totally. So it's about, unfortunately, there are people here who are never, ever comfortable when money, whenever they have money in the house. It's either money sleeps outside or they sleep outside themselves. 
I don't, you know, there are people who are troubled always with money. All right? That is not me. I, I, at least I had a very good mentor by the name Dr. McPhee. Dr. McPhee will tell you these things. Right now he's very old. But if you ask him, that guy really assisted some of us. And we shall forever be grateful. All right? We shall be forever grateful. And this thing of alcohol is not even about just uh, gentlemen alone. Ukipata waschana, wadogo, ile njia nafuta shisha, unadanganywa, unaona. By the time you come to realize you are already a cabbage. I hope there is nobody who is a cabbage already here. A cabbage, you know, a cabbage. Once in a while, you should treat yourself. Unfortunately, unfortunately, Jacqueline, the kind of alcohol they are selling outside here is not alcohol that you can treat uh, yourself once and then you get out of it easily. I think there must be something wrong these guys are mixing. You know, during our times, you could take like Zakayo. They used to call them Zakayo. Right, those old days, the Guinness, small Guinness like this, and somebody could do even a whole crate, and the following day, and end at a kazi. Right, it used to be good beer, but nowadays there must be. Nowadays there must be something these guys are putting in that alcohol, which is making our young men and women so much hooked. You get a day like Friday, you guys are good. You guys are good because two hundred and twenty guys are online here. Right now, there are your fellow colleagues here who are running to clubs. And they're doing what we call club hopping. They move from this. They don't even look at risks. All right. There must be something these guys here add. Becky, I'll say to Kobes. Becky, we shall overcome. So if you are doing it, no problem. But please do it in moderation then. I think that should be the catch word. We do it in moderation. Now in agreement. In moderation. But even if you talk of moderation, Look at, like now, all families. All families, as and gentlemen, right now, you must get, in this case here, one person, two people, really were affected so adversely with alcohol. And that alcohol is uh, certain because it gets to choose the best from the family. It gets to choose the very best. The, one who got, the ones who got A's, who did very good university degrees, right? And the ones, in this case here, they choose that, Great. <laughs> great, great. So we shall overcome. So the marriage is in, is in the house. So ladies and gentlemen, alcohol is a problem. You'll be surprised. It's a big problem. It's a big problem. It's a big, big problem. And remember nowadays, especially if you're drinking, if you can drink outside, if you can drink outside the clubs, the better. You know the other day, you know me, I do a lot of research. Unakuta hizi clubs zile nafika saa sita usiku kabisa wanaanza kupuliza kupuliza moshi fulani. Hiyo moshi mimi nasikia kuna kitu fulani. That's how you are being basically led to I mean smoking bad things. If you get somebody in this case here doing cocaine, never blame them because that thing once it starts getting to your blood, you will start in this case here dima having of course in this case here effects liking it. All right? All right? I'm not here to preach, I'm not a preacher, I'm not a preacher. Mine is about making money. And then number two, the ability of you to keep that money, regardless of how much you're earning. There is nothing like small, nothing like big. And remember, for you to be able to keep money, you must be able to embrace standing orders. Go to your account's office like tomorrow, tell your accountant that when you pay me a salary, I would want you to deduct 20,000 shillings directly and send this money to this circle. Because this money, once you put it in your pocket, the whole world has got a way of knowing that you have gotten money. Even your mother at home, when you have lots of money, you have sent her, for example, 2000 Everybody has got a way of knowing that you have money. So if you can get a way of slicing down those figures, the end straight away, kwa muasibu sako. I would want to see my students in this case investing in pension schemes. Yeah, auto money detector. So pension schemes, because like uh, I always give talks to retirees. People really complain. All right. <laughs> you find the needy one, actually. <laughs> That's a good one. But the best in this case here have those schemes. Those schemes. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the scheme that I also want you to be quite aware about is what we call the money market fund. Money market fund. How many of us here have money market funds? 
how many how many of us here have money market funds money market funds money market funds are short term baskets for saving whenever you get in this case a small ah great whenever you get in this case a small small amounts ladies and gentlemen in this case here you throw them in money market funds like we have cic we have in this case here lofty uh -huh. always choose the ones which are water regular regulated choose the ones that are regulated like cic you may see cic giving like 11 percent, but you see they are guaranteed you can Choose, for example, Cyton, which is promising 16, but that 16 may go another way. All right. Britam is very good, yes. Aha, uh -huh. very good. So please never also have money idling in your house. Because if you keep money in your house, then automatically inflation will eat it. If you go and put like a thousand just like idling in your house like that, that a thousand in two, three months, at this inflation rate of about 7%, it will be worth much less. So put it in a place whose return is higher than the rate of inflation. So you, 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 in this case, you keep your money. You're saving your money in money market funds, money market funds. Whenever you get, in this case, for example, some surplus cash in your M-Pesa that you may not want in the next two, three days, simply throw it to the Mali. Also, Safaricom has got what we call money market fund, we call Mali. You throw it there. All right? Very, very important. been trying to learn, I'll be able to introduce a session and talk about this. Now, uh, uh, now ladies and gentlemen, once you start hitting like 100,000 in those baskets of yours, don't leave that money there forever because the interest from money market funds are taxable. Once you reach 100,000, please transfer that money to government bonds. Go and buy government bonds, especially the infrastructure bonds. Infrastructure bonds in this case here are normally tax-free. They're normally tax-free. So I would want to be doing these kind of sessions uh, regularly where I should be able to give you like an hour, an hour so that I'll be able to talk about those things. How do you buy, like now this very specific question, how do you buy government bonds? I should be able to address this in another session. I don't, but now the problem is that uh, people also, like now tomorrow, we can talk of say tomorrow, say, same time, say 7 or 8 p.m. We simply come and talk about treasury bills, money, market funds, uh, the bonds, ETC, ETC. But for now, so that I can now get to finish eh, my topics, there are quite many. I need to finish my topics here, and then we now start specializing. We start specializing. Now, as a gentleman from there, we have the investments. Now, I've been able to talk about uh, financial, personal financial management, of course, as an overview. We must be ready to sacrifice. Don't be cheated. I told you in some sittings, like most of these clubs, ladies and gentlemen, outside here, they are meant, in this case here, to steal money, especially from the boy child. Unanunaingia club. Sujika ni mina unanga ipo. Mara wame, kwanza they import ladies. Some of them import ladies from Rwanda. Others even from Turkey. Ikifika san, kwanza sambili wameza sauti ni kidogo. Wanda wakiongeza sauti, wanda wakiongeza sauti. Ikifika sa zingine, ta. Ukipenduka hivi, unawana hii. Ukipenduka hivi, bila kujua, a hundred thousand ime, imeenda. So the environment, for you to be able to keep money, I'm telling you this as my children, because most of you are quite young. To keep money, you must have great friends. Look at your circles. If you have, uh, in between your circles, everybody mlevi mlevi, know that there is a problem. You will die a poor man. Me, I will not want to be poor. I hate poverty because I came from poverty. I don't want to be poor. All right. All right. Easy for to not you are going to talk about cash, but in the future, look at your friendship. Look at your friendship. Friendship is very important. Important. Who are your friends, baby girl? We shall overcome. We shall overcome. Friends. Look at your friends. You see them, Jesus. Friends. Friends were zuri. We are going to be a to find A B C D. All right. Okay, so put a friend Zoko wingi ni kanyama wapi, kanyama wapi. Apana. We are not the same. We are not the same. Where's Jom to Atopia Zaki wapi? Apana. All right. Bank salary, cash rounds. Ah, I like cash rounds, but again, the risk some of these guys, not unless it's something you've done 
uh, for so long. Some of these guys will get during your turn, they run away. They run away. I also like uh, doing what we call calculated risks. Calculated risks. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we come to the last thing here. So in terms of uh, now your personal development, as an individual, you must be studying. As an individual, ladies and gentlemen, as an accountant, you must strive to be, number one, a good public speaker. And that is why I would want, I've always been promising, but next week we should be able to start a free of charge, a free of charge public speaking class. And we shall be able to run it the Toastmasters way, the Toastmasters way. Toastmasters, for example, if you don't mind, can you give me like seven minutes I play one video here? Can I play one video for you guys from Toastmasters for you to understand? Can I just, will you give me like seven minutes? Don't run away. Whatever we're discussing here, ladies and gentlemen, people pay a lot of money to be able to get this information. This is serious information. Serious information. Don't run away. And next time, whenever I call for these kind of uh, sessions, please be bringing your families. Always bring your families, family members and friends. So it's an eight minutes video. And as it plays, I'll be able to make announcements on the chats. You're welcome. I love that the contest chair sounds more Zimbabwean than I do. <laughs> in Zimbabwe, we speak Shona. And in this beautiful language, we have a very important word that I'd like to share with you today. In Shona, we say Ndini. N D I N I Dini. Try it. Dini. Beautiful. It means this is me. In my language, we have one word for this very important phrase. This is me. Dini. This word is special for me now, but growing up, I wasn't always comfortable with who I was. You see, even though I grew up in Zimbabwe, my middle name was a long, winding, complicated Nigerian name because my father, whom I never knew, was Nigerian. Now, yes, I may know a Nigerian prince or two, <laughs> but back then, I didn't want a Nigerian name. I wanted a cool name, like Martin Luther King Jr. <laughs> or Contest Chair. <laughs> the other kids would make fun of me. They said my name was useful as a password. <laughs> they called my middle name memorably forgettable. They said my middle name was a curse from black magic. I hated my name. Have you ever hated something about yourself? I would argue with mom. I would be so mad at her. You gave me this name. You did this to me. And now everybody makes fun of me because I'm different. And my mom would look at me and say, but son, 
That name is who you are. It's special. You know, your middle name means that what God has done, no man can change. And I said, Mom, man has changed many things. Okay, look at chihuahuas. <laughs> that used to be a wolf. I'm pretty sure I can change my name. <laughs> and I did. As soon as I turned 18, I had my middle name removed from all my documents. It became my best kept secret. And I have not said that name once ever since. Before I knew it, it was 2018 and I'd landed in college, not in Zimbabwe, not even in Africa, but in the heart of Eastern Europe. It was clear who grew up in the snow and who grew up in the sand. <laughs> I had never been this different before. The fly in the milk. It felt like I had taken one step forward and 10 steps backwards. But then I met Nick. Another fly in the milk, but from Congo. He's got the African boy swag, you know, low, deep voice, speaks very slowly. He's like Mufasa, but in slow motion. <laughs> We're in the library one day and Nick drops his ID. And like a good friend, I pick it up and proceed to read it out loud, including his full name. Nicholas Rolin Sweeney Bitumi. I say, dude. Let's say your name three times and see what happens. <laughs> but I knew exactly how those words must have felt. But Nick was ready. I have never met anybody with my name. It was a gift from my grandfather, and I like it. <laughs> and we laughed, and we got kicked out of the library. <laughs> but in my heart, I was 18 again, seeing in Nick what I didn't have for myself, acceptance. And for the first time, I started looking around and I realized we're all different. Even Nick was different. But he wasn't just different. He was special because he accepted himself. And for the first time in a long time, I wanted to accept myself too. I looked myself in the mirror and said, Ndini, this, this is me. I know that many of you out there at some point in your life have felt uncomfortable being who you are. Maybe it was your name. Maybe it was the family you came from. Maybe it was the school you went to. Maybe you were tall. Maybe you were short. Maybe you have wrinkles, freckles. Maybe you have scars. I know that some of you out there know what it is to be different. And even if you don't feel it, I'm sure you know somebody who does. You are beautifully you. The only you. And no man can change that. So let me invite you to make this very important word a part of your language. Ndini, this is me. For my friends here in Nashville and the thousands watching from home, say it with me. This is me. This is me. Ndini. Ndini. Beautiful. I haven't had the courage to officially reclaim my name. But here, today, I think we can make a step in the right direction. I was born Cyril Jr. Uche Chukumere Dim. And this is me, Dini. Great. So that is the end of that uh, speech. Is there somebody who has been really able to get uh, the subtle message in this man's uh, 
speech. Tineke, no, no <laughs> identity. This is me. This is me. We have to accept how we are. Anything that you cannot change, that is it. This is me. Self-love, yes. So then I would want us, ladies and gentlemen, once we get into this particular public speaking, even if you are a person who has got a big problem with R and L's, it doesn't matter. Just know that you are the way you are. Nothing in this case here should ever scare you. The moment you come, and of course, uh, with that kind of confidence, you will be able, ladies and gentlemen, in this case here, straight away to, I mean, get on stage. It will be a virtual stage without fearing even if they laugh. So what? They're giving you a training environment. In a span of three months or so forth, all of us in this case here shall be great. That concept of anxiety should not be part of us, really, even if you mess. So what? B and a P. All right. All right. Many times, actually, there is a time I began this. I began this. And so many guys just dropped off because people do not know that public speaking, among as many other skills, it is the greatest skill. Right? I'm happy because I introduced uh, people like uh, Lorreen to Toastmasters. And occasionally when I attend, I get to meet them there. All right? All right? You cannot go wrong, ladies and gentlemen, with a practice. Practicing public speaking. Even if you confuse she with she, if you are practicing, so that you can get comfortable, first of all, with who we are. I'm telling you one day, you will come to thank me. One day, you will come with a, a big Mercedes black and tell me, Mualimu, I mean, I'm the CEO of Gender Electric America and were it not for you, I would not have gotten that position. That speech you gave that day about public speaking opened doors for me because, I mean, where we are heading towards, who would want to have an accountant who does not know how to speak, who does not know how to project PowerPoint slides, who does not know how to communicate? Nobody. Trust you me. If you look at Toastmasters, some of the Toastmasters that I know who are really big, they don't miss Toastmasters easily. Look at somebody like Mukisa Kitui. Tony Gashoka. Tony Gashoka. But he's a very good public speaker. I mean, most of these rich people know that public speaking is something that is practiced often. If you look at it even very well, even from the preaching aspect, from the preaching aspect, the Pastors who are able to pull big uh, multi multitude of people, ladies and gentlemen, are great public speakers. I'm not saying that you go and become pastors, but I'm trying to drive something home. That uh, good oratory skills will always bring uh, blessings your way. And we must be good in public speaking, good in speech writing. That's why when you join my classes here of public speaking, then you'll first of all be forced to do a speech, short one which you send to us, we review. And then, of course, we shall require you to present now the speech without making any reference. At first, we'll allow you to make reference. But yeah, like Bishop Oginde is a very, very good in this area. True. Babo Wino is the best. I don't know. <laughs> OK. So like when you write the speeches here, we will want to see you using uh, conjunctions. Nevertheless, however, to move from one paragraph to another. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are a good writer, if you are a good speaker, you will become a ruler in social media. Many times I know of so many guys who will tell you that social uh, media, Facebook is not my thing. But truth is, these guys do not know how to write. And yes, they have university degrees. But they were not told by anybody that uh, public speaking is uh, a big thing. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, look at, for example, people like Wahome, this Wakili, on social, or even someone like Pauline Jeroge. I mean, and many others. The moment you are able to write, 
in a way that uh, is able to pull people towards you. You become a magnet and you'll get, uh, in this case, you have very many corporates advertising with you. So are we together in terms of uh, public speaking? Are we together in terms of public speaking? All right. So then I'll be able to pull up something, uh, especially from uh, from uh, the coming week. I'll be able to bring in like three experienced Toastmasters. Toastmasters, I'll bring like three of them. They do a demo for us. It's about seven minutes to eight minutes speeches, very short speeches, really. Very short speeches. Once in this case here, you get, for example, this uh, icebreaker. We have what we call an icebreaker session. And the icebreaking sessions, each member of uh, the Toastmasters must take five minutes here to talk about themselves. And the more you keep on talking about yourself, then the more you will be thorough in terms of us answering this great interview question, like uh, tell us some things more about yourself. What is you, I mean, icebreaker. It's something I would want you guys to be reciting often because many guys have come for interviews. They are asked in this case here to just narrate something about themselves. They'll talk about how good they were in primary school. They don't, I mean, if it's the Toastmasters model, it's three points, one, two, three. And then you must get a way of summarizing the three points as you get out of it. You leave those guys in this case, I mean, wondering, I mean, this kind of a guy, we give him three minutes and he has taken exactly three minutes. He has been able to give us his three greatest strengths in great summary. But you can only do that if you keep on repeating this concept of what here. Great, great, great. So then we should be able to do what here to use this concept of what here, public speaking, the platform to really do very well because we are called upon to be at that area. Now, ladies and gentlemen, for the practical accountancy and the advanced Excel classes, they'll be costing you guys 3,000. RCM students, of course, uh, they have some uh, better rates, a, a little bit, a little bit rates here. And of course, if you're interested in our courses, don't forget our number 0793, 0793 555 000. 0793-555-000. And then we have, in this case, of course, 0793 Like that. You can call and there, of course, ask questions there. All right. Now, ladies and gentlemen, there is this gentleman who has been writing CVs for us. Do you know his name? It's not about, uh, is he around? It's not just about writing a CV, but also connecting your CV to quite, I can't see him around, I can't see him around. I can't see him around. I can't see him around. Kodak, let me search Kodak, where is he? Kodak, Kodak. All right, I'll call him, I'll call him. I don't know whether the school that uh, schools that your young people are going uh, to, whether they are exposed to coding at an early stage. We have also introduced coding classes for children. All right. So long as they are uh, in grade three and above. Yasu, very good. Very good. Not about CV Kujifanya. Uh -huh, very good. Yeah, coding, coding for the kids, coding for kids. So we have that coding for kids as a gentleman, which is uh, very, very important. If, of course, uh, you'd wish to join this Mualimu, Mualimu will be giving like an hour for about 10 days. And then I'll be able to teach those kids. I've done it severally. I'll be able to teach the kids online virtually how to do some basic coding, HTML, how to come up with computer games, ETC. And of course, I'm a good. Uh, teacher, right? I'll be able to ensure that uh, by the end of the session, the, the sessions here, they are okay. They'll be happy and we'll have found a way of keeping them busy. We'll have found a way of keeping them busy. How much are we charging? 5,000. For the kids, we're charging 5,000. We can't go below that. Age, I'm not so sure of age, but I know so long as they're in grade three, all the way to form four. 
grade three all the way to form four, you need basic, they need basic coding, basic coding. So ladies and gentlemen, that is it. And I would want to really thank you so much. I will be doing an invite uh, for tomorrow's session where basically we shall talk about what year we shall talk about, we shall talk about uh, now investments, 100%. Investments, 100%. MMF, ETC. Ah, great. So great demand of accountants in Rwanda. I love that. So thank you. Thank you. Be blessed. Thank you. And please continue preaching the RCM college concept here. There are very few colleges, of course, which can do what we are able to do for you guys for free. I'm so sure we are cutting a different type of cloth for the market there. Thank you and a good night. Bye. Bye. And of course, I'll be able to upload this on YouTube. Once you get it on YouTube, please promote Mualibu by subscribing. Bye and bye.